Hey guys, it's Simon from Magic Mayhem Hobbies again with my Sandbag Mounds Guide. This will be a nice, quick and easy one. All we've literally got to do is finish off after part one where we got to covering the mound in sand. And as you can see here, we tapped all the sand off and given it a nice spray in grey. There we go. All nicely covered. That should hold all the sand on. Gave it quite a thick coat. Still keeps all the detail on the sandbags. It just helps to keep all the all the sand on there. And to do that, <clears throat> all I used was a Poundland grey spray. Nice and cheap, and obviously only a pound. It's the automotive grey primer. And just another thing I got from Poundland, which is quite handy. Before you give it a spray with a grey, give it a spray with some spray adhesive. That will also help to keep the sand in, the uh, all the gravel in that, and stop it all from falling off. If you want. It's just a little extra precaution just to stop everything falling off later on. Very handy stuff. I always keep a couple of cans around. <clears throat> Alright, once you've done that, there you go. You can see I've done a nice coat of brown. And for the brown, I've used burnt umber. It's quite a nice dark muddy brown. And I got that from, well, you can get it pretty much anywhere. I got this from ESK. It's quite cheap. I think it was a quid. Or Poundland. I think I got that from Poundland actually. E either place does it. They both do it. So nice and easy. So yeah, that's that. And after that, there we go, giving it a coat of ochre on the sandbags, just cover it all over there, gives them a nice sort of sandbaggy colour, but we're going to darken that down with a wash in a little while. And that's the ochre that I used, it's part of the old Games Workshop uh, kit that you'd cover a battlefield in. It's just some old stuff I left over. It almost dried out. I just chucked some water in it and uh, gave it a good shake. Resurrected it. So yeah, any old any old sort of ochre colour. It's like a deserty colour. Alright, next up. There we go. You see I've given it a wash on the sandbags. Make them look all dirty, grimy, you know, like in a war zone. And for that, I've used, you see that's Devlin Mud, although it's not actually Devlin Mud in this pot, but Devlin Mud does work fine. Part of the Citadel Games Workshop range. Uh, what I've used for that is I've used the Burnt Umber, which I showed you a second ago, and watered it down very heavily, so it's it's like liquid. It's it's practically like milk consistency. So you make your own your own wash, save paying I don't know two or three quid, however much this is these days. <clears throat> and then the next step, as you can see on that one, we've covered the burnt umber base brown with. Another colour, literally just overbrushed it. Just get it on your brush, wipe some of it off so it's not too thick, and literally just very gently brush over the stones. And on the on the areas up on on the sand here, just lightly go over those, make it look all nice and muddy. You know, it's been raining, there's mud everywhere. This is war. Everything's covered in mud and dirt and sand and all that kind of stuff. Alright, and then on to the final step. I mean, that one, you know, you could use that. Looks pretty much finished. But if you want to take it one step further, I've got some Javis foliage, which is like little clumps of, well, it looks like a little clump of bush type stuff. It just breaks some, some off, PVA glue, 
put it wherever you want. As you can see in this one, I thought I'd have a little bit of foliage growing out of this little hole. Just chucked a load of PVA glue in there, squashed it in, and uh, yeah, just a little bit of foliage. Just adds a little bit more life to your scenery. And then on top of that, I used some, there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's the Fine Turf by Javis. That's the stuff. Got a nice turfy look. And I sort of did that sort of in the recesses under the sandbags, a little bit on top, and a little bit around there. Just to make it look like there's grass growing on it, you know. Add a little bit of texture. I mean that's quite a light one. I'll probably use a darker one next time. It looks more like it looks more like sand. Which, you know, use your imagination, some sand's come out of sandbags. Grass, whatever you want to call it. Use some static grass as well. I haven't used any in this, but you could. It'll look just as good. Alright, once you're finished, a little bit of uh there you go. Army Painter matte varnish, well, any form of matte varnish, just don't use shine. Matte varnish will just seal everything in, stop stuff falling off. There's nothing worse than when you're having a battle and there's just bits falling off everywhere. It looks horrible. Alright, guys, here we go. Pretty much finished off. The front, there's a couple at the front that are pretty much done. A couple of the back ones just need a little bit of finishing off. Just a little bit of brushing, a little bit of washing, two at the back, hiding away there. They just need a bit more work. It take more than about another 10-15 minutes. All in all, creating all these has taken maybe an hour, hour and a half, all in total. Plus obviously waiting for paint and glue to dry. So it just goes to show, nice quick and easy, pretty effective piece of terrain. And they got a nice bit of height for our space marines to be looking over. Nice bit of cover. So there you have it. If you like this video, subscribe, give us a like. And obviously this is my first video, this and part one. So if you want to share it about, by all means, go right ahead. Alright, thank you very much. This has been Simon from Magic Mayhem Hobbies. And I'll catch you later.